This is Lewis from SoFly, and I'd like to introduce WPL Import version 3. Imagine a WordPress plugin that can import any data from any XML or CSV file to any place in WordPress. That is exactly what WPL Import does. Right now, you're looking at an example website I created with WPL Import. It took less than 15 minutes of hands-on time to build. It's an affiliate store built using WooCommerce and a theme from ThemeForest called Shopaholic. All of the products you see on this site were imported with WPL import from four XML product feeds from Commission Junction. This is the Manage Import screen of WPL import. From here you can see the four feeds I imported for a total of nearly 30,000 products. I'm going to move over to the product screen so you can see the imported items. This is part of WooCommerce. WPL import has full support for custom post types and that's why these were imported as products not normal WordPress posts or pages. This is the edit product screen and from here you can see that we've imported the product title, product description, product category which is a custom taxonomy, featured image, we downloaded the image from the feed and set it as the post featured image and put it in the media gallery and we've set the WooCommerce custom fields for external product, SKU, affiliate URL, and price. Now that I've shown you what WPL import can do, I'm going to show you how it all works. I've moved over to a fresh WordPress install and I'm going to do a demonstration import so you can see the process. WPL import appears in the sidebar menu. Click new import to begin a new import. There are four ways to get files. You can upload one from your computer, download it from a URL, get it from an FTP server, or use one that you've already uploaded. Uh, I'm going to download a file from a URL for this import. Click Next to continue on to the next step, and WPL import has matched 405 elements. Now we could filter this feed by anything, let's say by price. We can do that using XPath, there's a tutorial. So if we wanted to only import products more than 30, this is how it's done. And as you can see, there are only 36 elements with a price higher than 30. We're going to get the default XPath, though, because for this demo, we don't want to filter the feed. In this step, we can design our template. We are going to drag and drop the name element from the right over to the left and use it as the post title. And then we're going to set the post content to the description, just drag and drop very easy, and the product price. I'll put a dollar sign in front of that. And that's it for the post content. Let's take a look at what that's going to look like. Looks good. Moving on to the next step, we get to set up our post options. Now we're going to create posts, but you could also create pages. Uh, or if you had a plugin or theme installed that uh, had a custom post type, those tabs would show up next to post and pages because WPL import can import to any custom post type. Next, we're going to set the post date. We're going to use the random dates feature to set the post to appear in a date range starting a year ago and being scheduled to appear one year into the future. We will set the tags from the keywords in the feed. The keywords in the feed are separated by comma and WPL import, uh, you have comma in the separated by box. WPL import can import to custom fields. We don't need to do that right now. So we'll move on to setting up the image. We'll specify the image URL and WPL import will download this image and assign it to the post media gallery. And with this checkbox, we'll make sure that if an image is not downloaded successfully, WPL import will not uh, publish the post. That's all for our import options. So let's click the finish button and WPL import will begin creating our posts. Now, because we're downloading 400 images, this is going to take a few minutes. So I'm going to pause the video and come back when the import process is complete. The import is now complete. Let's take a look at our created posts. Uh, it's created the tags nicely. Let's click edit on one of them and set our post title, content and price. And you can see it's downloaded and set the image uh, in the image gallery. Now this post is scheduled to be posted in the future because we specified that one, one year date range. See it's scheduled for 2014. So let's take a look at a post that is uh, posted 
in the past that we can actually look at on our site right now. Here's one. And here's the post with the image and imported post content. Now let's go to the Manage Import screen of WPL Import. Here is our completed import. And since we imported from a URL, we can use cron jobs to check this import for updates every so often. So if the XML is updated, we can set up a cron job to check and re-download the XML and re-import the file and update the post on our site accordingly. We can also edit our import template and our import options, and then we could do an update. So if we wanted to make any changes to our settings, that would be very easy to do. To see a complete feature list, uh, go to the How It Works page on the website. WPL import is $99, and if you use the coupon code VIDEO, you get a 20% discount. We provide very good technical support. If you need any help getting started, our support team is happy to log into your WordPress dashboard and set up an example import for you. We also have tons of video tutorials in our customer area, and WPL import is backed by a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. So if you aren't happy for any reason, you can get a full refund. So if you want to perform complex import jobs quickly and easily, get WPL import right now. Again, this is Lewis from SoFly, and thank you so much for watching.